Elon Musk's shocking investments in the Philippines. It all began with a question, simple, yet powerful enough to potentially change the world. While sitting in his office in Texas, Elon Musk looked at a digital map of Southeast Asia and asked, why not the Philippines? For many years, giant companies favored countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and Malaysia. These nations were typically chosen because of their stable economies, readiness for manufacturing, and geopolitical importance. But Musk, known for going against the grain, saw something different. In the archipelago that is the Philippines, he didn't see chaos. He saw opportunity. A massive opportunity. It wasn't just the geography, though, that did offer a unique advantage. More than 7,000 islands serving as a bridge between east and west. It wasn't just the high English proficiency among Filipinos. And it wasn't just the passion of the Filipino youth. Always connected. Always dreaming. It was all of that and more. Musk saw the quality of the Filipino people, as individuals, as workers, and as partners in building the future. The first light, Starlink arrives. In 2023, Musk made his first move. Through SpaceX, he launched Starlink in the Philippines, making it the very first country in Southeast Asia to access this revolutionary satellite internet. While other countries hesitated, the Philippines boldly embraced it. The government partnered with SpaceX to speed up the process and bring fast internet to areas previously unreachable by traditional signals. For Musk, this was the perfect testing ground, a nation made up of thousands of islands hungry for digital transformation. As Starlink terminals slowly came to life from the mountains to the cities, it became clear the Philippines wasn't just a customer, it was a partner. Advancing the future, Tesla's quiet entry. By 2024, Tesla followed. It opened its very first showroom in uptown Bonifacio Global City, a modern district at the heart of Metro Manila. Crowds flocked to see the Model 3 and Model Y, now officially sold in the country. But the real goal wasn't just to sell, it was to build. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. personally invited Musk to consider the Philippines as a potential location for manufacturing Tesla electric vehicles. He highlighted the skills of the Filipino workforce, the government's focus on clean energy, and the growing support for electric vehicles. While countries like Thailand and Malaysia had a head start, the Philippines offered something different, a clean slate and a government ready to collaborate. Instead of slow bureaucracy, the country moved fast and with openness. From tweet to talent, the arrival of X in the Philippines. Next came X, formerly Twitter. As part of its global expansion, the company chose the Philippines as its first customer support hub in Southeast Asia. Why? Because of the Filipino people. Reports say Musk was impressed not just by Filipinos' fluency in English, but by their natural empathy, patience, and care for every conversation. Not robotic, not just reading scripts, they speak with heart. Beyond that, Filipinos are naturally resourceful cheerful even in hard times, and always willing to learn. In Musk's world filled with tech, automation, and AI, it was the humanity and compassion of Filipinos that stood out and became essential. So why the Philippines? Elon Musk saw what others missed. If Thailand has tradition, the Philippines has transformation. If Malaysia has policy, the Philippines has people, people with courage, heart, and intelligence. And in Musk's mind, technology is not just about machines. It's about the people who will use it, create it, and spread it. And the Filipino, according to him, is one of the best in the world, skilled, adaptable, and deeply caring. It wasn't because the Philippines was easy that he placed his bet here. He placed his bet because it was possible, and because of the Filipino people. Aside from the current operations of Starlink and Tesla in the Philippines, Elon Musk has several possible plans for the country. First, expansion of Starlink and building ground stations. Starlink plans to build 14 ground gateway stations across the country to improve satellite internet connectivity. 
However, it currently faces regulatory challenges, including high-spectrum fees and outdated telecommunications laws. The Department of Trade and Industry, DTI, is working to speed up the process of obtaining a congressional franchise for Starlink. Second, building a SpaceX launch pad in Mindanao. SpaceX is considering building a launch pad in Mindanao due to its proximity to the equator, which is ideal for rocket launches. The company is coordinating with the Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, to identify a suitable location for the facility. Third, Tesla's expansion in the Philippines. After opening its first showroom in uptown Bonifacio Global City, Taguig, there are ongoing efforts to encourage Tesla to build a manufacturing plant in the country. While there is no concrete agreement yet, the Philippines is actively competing with neighboring countries like Indonesia and Thailand to be the location of the next Tesla Gigafactory. Fourth, expansion of X's operations, formerly Twitter. X has established its first customer support hub in the Philippines as part of its strategy to expand operations in Southeast Asia. The country was chosen due to the Filipinos' high English proficiency and natural empathy in customer interactions. Lastly, support for space-enabled development. SpaceX is working with the Philippine government to promote projects related to satellite broadband and potential space exploration. The goal is to use technology to improve sectors like education, agriculture, and disaster response. In summary, Elon Musk's plans in the Philippines reflect his trust in the country's potential as a key partner in the fields of technology and innovation. But beyond the big headlines, what does this really mean for the Filipino people? It means opportunity, real, tangible opportunity. More jobs across various sectors, from tech support and engineering to logistics, construction, and renewable energy. Skills development as more Filipinos get trained in high-level industries like electric vehicle manufacturing, satellite operations, and even space technology. Improve connectivity in remote areas through Starlink, opening access to education, remote work, and digital services. Global exposure as Filipino talent becomes recognized on the international stage, working directly with world-class companies like Tesla, SpaceX, and X. And perhaps most importantly, inspiration for the next generation, young Filipinos who will grow up seeing their country not just as a consumer of technology, but as a contributor to the future of humanity. So, fellow Filipinos, what do you think about this? Will this be beneficial to the Filipino people and the Philippines as a whole? Comment yes if you think this will help, and no if it won't. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed it. This inspires us to make more videos like this, videos that celebrate Filipino potential and the exciting future ahead.